This reenactment shows the frustration and anger that is common in many families. Chinese American parents often find communicating with their children challenging. Yang Jie moved to the United States when she was 13. That's when the relationship with her parents became more troublesome. The family rules are very strict. It's like everything I do successfully, I'm supposed to be that way. If I'm getting an IDA, I will probably get punished. Yang Jie had to learn to obey the rules in a hard way and couldn't quite understand why her parents treated her that way. My father is a military member when he was younger. So the way how he was training me is like the military style. Despite the conflict, Yang Jie never doubted her parents' love, and they encouraged her to find her passion. Gradually, she took up dancing and spent much time practicing in the studio and performing. The biggest motivation for me to work really hard to get into the advanced class and to, to wear the most beautiful costume in the whole dance school. And later on, when I start to go on stage and to, to, to perform the numbers, the flowers, the big applauses, you know, and what audience say about us became really attractive to us. Life was good and she fell in love with Paul. Yang Jie placed the same expectation of perfection on Paul as her parents placed on her. Soon, everything changed and their relationship broke apart. Both of us weren't talking to each other. We were mad at each other and I was waiting for her to apologize to me first. It was painful. Their marriage and family life were about to collapse. Their daughter, Crystal, was traumatized by the constant fighting and arguments. Um, I get really kind of mad and kind of sad at the same time because the mad part is um, I don't think my dad should treat my mom like that. In the midst of the trouble and the uncertainty, Yang Jie and Paul began to attend local Chinese church services. The pastor showed them and the other young couples how to build a strong and stable family in God's way. And there's always new people coming in. There's always people who are looking uh, for a community to belong in and looking for people um, that they can connect with. And I think as a church, we have an opportunity to um, reach out to them with the gospel and to introduce them to Christ. Many of them who've never been part of a church before or even picked up a Bible before and just help connect with them and help them to know Jesus. In 2016, the United States granted almost 41,000 immigrant visas to mainland-born Chinese citizens. And a number of Chinese churches in the United States grew from 1,200 in 2006 to 1,600 by 2011. Some churches are coming together to more effectively reach young Chinese. We're working with um, people in our church and other churches. There's four Chinese churches in Hampton Roads area who are all working to reach this community, um, some in different ways. And we also partner with other local um, American churches as well. And we're part of a local church network um, that supports us and uh, connects us with other church leaders and ministries. And we all basically partner together um, to reach the Chinese community and to, to really bring the gospel to that group. Gradually, Yang Jie and her husband found their purpose as a couple, and their marriage was healed. Praying is like the daily spiritual just breathing, the air that we need every day. And reading the Bible, studying the Bible, is like the food we intake every day. <laughs> Crystal was happy that Jesus restored her parents' marriage and brought peace to the family and special meaning to her. Lord and glory and thankfulness. Today, Jesus changed all of us. We need to follow the Lord faithfully and continue to serve Him. We were lost. Now, we belong to the same Father. Meng Fei Li, CBN News.